welcome back. I'm so excited to see you. I know that we were, took last week off and you kind of saw some repeat videos, but we're so excited to be back here this week with live, new, fresh material for you. I sure hope you've been enjoying the CM lunch breaks. So we get to do this for a little bit while longer. I hope you're looking forward to it. We're so looking forward to spending more time with you. So today I'm just gonna jump right back into our God letters. Are you ready? Awesome. Dear God, we need to talk. Oh no, you just made a big mistake. You broke mom's favorite vase. What do you do? Well, you could tell a lie or you can blame it on your brother or your sister. Maybe you should run for the hills. No, facing mom and telling her the truth would be much better. Wrong choices can make you feel miserable inside, but no mistake will ever stop God from loving you. He would much rather you tell the truth than try to run and hide. Boys and girls, it's so scary when we make a mistake. We just are so afraid of the trouble we're going to get into. But something I learned a really long time ago, if I tried to lie about it and my mom found out about it, I'd be in even more trouble. Because now I'm in trouble for breaking her vase or for making the mistake that I made. And I'm in trouble for lying. So boys and girls, if you make a mistake, if you break something, if you do something wrong, or even... Even if you do something mom and dad asked you not to do and you start feeling really, really sad inside, go to your mom and dad. Ask for forgiveness. Tell them that you made a mistake. Tell them that you did something wrong. It will make you feel so much better. It says in John 8, 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Oh, boys and girls, the truth does set you free. Just be honest. Be honest. All right, let's read another one. Dear God, what do you think? God takes one look at you, and he remembers the day he made your fingers and your toes. He chose your height, your hair color. He put in your personality, and he smiled at the you that he created. If you had put as much thought and love into something you made, wouldn't you think it was extra special too? Yeah, and that's exactly how God feels about you. You are so special to him. And boys and girls, it's really easy to get sad or to get lonely or to think really bad things about yourself. You don't like your hair. You don't like that you're shorter than your friends or you're taller than your friends. You don't like that you've got red hair and your brothers or sisters have blonde or brown. It's so easy to get caught up in comparing ourselves to other people. But when you get there, when you get to that place where you're comparing yourself and wishing you looked different, stop and think. God made me exactly the way I am. He picked out this hair color for me. He picked out this eye color for me. And he loves every part about you. So boys and girls, if you get to a place where you just forget that you are special and you just forget that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, take a minute and just say, God, what do you think of me? And give him a moment to tell you how much he loves you. He loves every piece and part of you. This comes from Psalm 17, 8. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your ring, wings. And go, boys and girls, he does think you are the apple of his eye. Oh, it's so special to think that God thinks about you. Not just me. Not just Miss Kirsten who's filming this video with us. Not just your brothers and sisters. He thinks about you. He has so much love in his heart. He thinks about all of us all the time because he loves us and he made us. Oh, it just makes my heart so happy to think about that. So let's pray. God, we just thank you. We thank you that when we make mistakes, you're not angry with us. 
God, we thank you that you picked out every part of us, our eyes, our eye color, our hair color, how tall we were, what we're good at, how smart we are, how talented we are, how autistic we are, how athletic we are, every part of us, God, you handpick that just for me and just for all the boys and girls that are listening to this video right now, God. And we thank you that you took such care in creating us. And Lord, I just pray that you meet us where we're at on those days we just forget how special we are. And on those days that we just, we need a little extra of your love. God, I pray that you come down and you touch every single one of our hearts. And God, that you whisper in our ear how much you love us. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for who you are. In your precious name, amen. Now, boys and girls, I don't want you to forget, we are doing our CM Zoom Room on Sunday mornings. Oh, it has been so good having fun with you guys on Sunday mornings. And I would love to see so many more faces. It's at 945. And you get to interact with friends from your classroom. You get to interact with your teachers. We've got games. We've got a Bible lesson. Boys and girls, we even have a contest, a game that we play every week. And you can earn points. And we have CM Zoom Room champions. Oh, it is so much fun. We hope you can join us. 9.45 Sunday mornings. We hope to see you there and we'll see you next week with your CM lunch breaks. Bye!